since I've started this YouTube channel, I've ran on a few obstacles. Uh, firstly, m my parents won't talk to me anymore. Another obstacle I've ran into is YouTube won't put my fucking shitty channel and recommended. Now I have a few gamer theories on why this is occurring. Perhaps I'm too thick for the recommended tab. Or maybe, ju just maybe, maybe uh, maybe it's because of the uh, because of the fucking constant swearing. Fuck, 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 fuck! But history is there to be rewritten and from now on I'm going to be the familiest, friendliest cunt that this website's ever seen. You want funny Instagram sound effects? I've got ye. You want me to have extreme energy just like I sniffed a line of the devil's dandruff before starting a video? I've got ye. Oh, good morning, Logang! What's poppin'? Good morning, Logang! You want me to start scamming innocent children? I've got ye. Boys and girls, have you ever heard this website called CSGO Lotto? Cooper, I have no idea how I'm gonna record this video, dude. YouTube, I'm on my fucking grind, and I ain't stopping until I sniff those booty cheeks on a recommended tab. But what would really help me, YouTube, if I had some type of mentor? Someone that I could reach out to for family-friendly advice? Maybe someone that gained 1.6 million subscribers in three fucking videos? Oh, there is someone out there like that. Her name's Janela Isla, and she's a queen of getting unrecommended. Hmm, well, I've got my notebook here, so, uh, let's learn how to become fucking family-friendly. <laughs> This is Janelle Lila's first video ever made. That's suspiciously well done. Now what I mean by that is if you take any YouTuber's first video they ever made and it's fucking dog shit. The editing's all over the place, the camera angle slanty, and the audio sounds like you're passing through a walkie-talkie. But Janelle Lila's first video ever made is like a young Casey Neistat. I'm just saying, it's a bit suspicious. Because whenever I started off, I was just like Casey Neistat myself. If uh, if Casey Neistat had fucking Down syndrome. What's fucking happening, you Regis? That's your boy. Hello, I'm Janelle, and I live in a van with my pet snake, Alfredo. YouTube is that all it takes to get recommended a pet snake? Bitch, I've got fucking two. The tiny little blue average snake in my pants, and that's fucking bad cunt right here. Hey pal, what do you think of that fucking family friendly snake Alfredo? That motherfucker dare from the night roof and I'll have a cat in his bitch ass. I think I accidentally flashed a biker gang and I don't know how I feel about it so we're just gonna... Ah, it's a bug! <laughs> Having Alfredo is such an interesting dynamic because I love him so much and he's literally incapable of loving me back, which is fine because that's like every boyfriend that I have ever had. Oh, not only does she fucking shite in a van, she's also quirky though. If Janelle Ayla plays a ukulele in her spare time, then she can have my heart forever. Behind this, in this compartment here that says headphones, An emergency pee bottle. Listen, there's nothing wrong with pissing in a bottle. If it's good enough for the army, that's good enough for me. Uh. It also keeps you hydrated. Being able to sleep this way gives me so much floor space and I have plenty of room to share. My fucking leg ass is not fitting in that van. If I squeeze hard enough, maybe I'll be able to fit my big toe in it. Come on, like, look how little space there is. Is your boyfriend gonna be a fucking baby coward or something? Can you stand up in your van? And the answer is no. But if I grab my keys and turn on the engine, and open this up. Guys, I may not be able to pee, poo, shit, or stand in my van, but I can do this. Give me your fucking bank details right now! I've been pretty content with that, honestly. I live in California, and my work is like in the center of California. This is getting even more suspicious, because you know what else is in the center of California? 
my lunch breaks, I would just try to build things and I would stay until close and just be at the parking lot late at night. Hold up, am I the only one seeing this? Quickly, zoom up under her goggles. And if my managers are watching this right now, I freaking love you, you're the best. <laughs> I actually just took a month off right now to focus on this YouTube thing. I get a fucking employer unless you take a full month off work. Okay, I am done talking now. Toodles. Since I started watching Janelle Lyle videos, there's been a question lingering in the back of my mind. I'm just gonna have to come out and see it. With all the sudden attention Janelle Lyle is getting, there's bound to be a few creepy bastards watching. So what if one absolute creep bag decides to find her van location, smash a window, maybe steal Alfredo, and kidnap Janelle Lyle? Get in the fucking bag! Or even worst possible case scenario, they start whacking their dick and they splooge all over her van. Hello everyone, that's day 7632 living in my van. And it's a... Uh, it's really starting to stink a B.O. What the fuck? Did someone just come in my van window? That's kind of tasty, you know. Oh, I can't. Is there any more where that came from? this video and uh, please remember to get it to the recommended tab. Folks, I'm not gonna lie, if I have to fucking live in a van and shag a snake, becoming family friendly is not worth it. Anyways, we all know what them family friendly channels are like whenever the cameras are off. Stop! Okay, I'm done talking now. Toodles! Thank fuck that's over! Someone get this heap of shit man away from me! And ah, uh, slaves, my apartment better be fucking cleaned. Now all free of you bastard, the vlog's not here to protect you anymore. That's fucking beat no clock. <laughs>